60 degrees and the wind's blowing, I don't know, five to five to eight miles an hour. And so it is very comfortable, at least for me. Uh, from New Orleans, Louisiana, live in South Dakota. So temperatures are extreme. Oh, looks like he's gonna go do another pickup before here because it's gonna be a while. I'm at Cool Pacific in Salinas, California. And nope, I'm wrong. He's actually got a door. The dispatcher told me that, oh, that it was going to be a slow day. I'm hoping that it's not. This is a live load and it's fresh vegetables. Uh, it's gonna be romaine lettuce. So I have to wait on the vegetables. You know, our God, our time is not God's time. And only he knows when the vegetables are gonna be you know ready and they have to be harvested and then washed and cooled before they even get on our truck so there's a process to it they have some of my uh, I have been picking up 840 cases and they have some of them but not enough so we'll see how that goes we in California we are required to wear masks everywhere oh my gosh I hate these things but I went and had a special one made just for me. And this is who I am. Diesel Diva. Oh, it's backwards. I forgot about that. But it says Diesel Diva. And it's got my little truck on it. And this is mine. I have my couple of shirts and my mask made from a local uh, company in Sioux Falls, South Dakota and eventually they'll do all my merchandise. I prefer to shop locally and you know do my shopping wherever I can locally. I bring down, I do vegetables and fruits so I generally pick up my fruits and vegetables here at the roadside stands and support local, uh, local farmers which is pretty much very great about this state. Uh, I don't really, this is by far my least favorite state that I come to, other than on the East Coast, which would be New York. Uh, I've been there four or five times. And I'm not talking about the state, I'm talking about uh, New York City, although I've been, I used to jump at the chance to go to New Upper New York State. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't go to Maine anymore, although it's very pretty. Mm, let's see. Don't like uh, New Jersey. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> uh, not that I can't do it. I have done it. I used to be over the road, lower 48 which means north of Canada. Uh, I haven't been to Hawaii or Alaska or the outskirts like Puerto Rico or, you know, our territories. So, but I've been to every state in the United States for the lower 48 and many of them multiple times. My favorite all time is the South and the upper Midwest and the Midwest. Uh, my, seriously, home is, will always be Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. Uh, I have family all up in there. Absolutely love it. Uh, but because of my job, I moved to South Dakota and have not regretted it. The money is good. I have a good record. Uh, no tickets, no anything. I had one ticket for the state of California, of course. Y'all watch out and be safe when it comes to Kern County. Uh, I was at a truck stop over in, oh my goodness. Anyway, I, and uh, I actually got out of the fuel island. I didn't even fuel. I got out of the fuel island because I just ran in to go get me a cup of ice got in my truck 
moved it up, you know, from the fuel island up one, and I got stopped by a, a state trooper. <laughs> and because I was not, I was technically stand sitting behind, and I was, he got me. I was sitting behind my steering wheel. I was in a driver's seat. I had pulled up and I was not on duty driving. And that was a, a $780 ticket, y'all. And Lost Hills. I was in Lost Hills, California when that happened. $780. They got me for a violation of logbook. So it is real and it is serious. Uh, needless to say, I paid it. I'm very, very blessed with a husband who never complains about, you know, well, my husband complains, but you know, he just, he's understanding. Uh, my husband is German. So our uh, values are somewhat different and what I get mad about he does and <laughs> what he gets mad about I don't so it's kind of weird uh, but we make it work and no shame in that compromise and understanding communication doesn't matter if it's a marriage a friendship a working relationship or with these shippers communication which is something else I want to talk about because in California, majority of your shippers are bilingual and most of, well, about half of them speak nothing but Spanish and communication skills and uh, understanding and miscommunication is very, very real here. Some of them just plainly don't speak English and they don't understand you so sometimes they have to go get somebody sometimes we just slowly work it out you know I mean if we go slow if they go slow it can be reached I learned that a long time ago uh, I have only had a few incidents where the shippers which were all Spanish or Latino uh, I'm not politically correct y'all so that's just something y'all are gonna have to overlook if y'all are gonna stay tuned with my channel uh, I'm straightforward I'm honest and I'm gonna tell you like it is but sometimes you just get people that are downright nasty and ugly to you uh, I, would, I don't want to say racism because it's not racism to me it's uh, ethnic differences that are a problem you know whether it's they don't like the way you look at them and I say that because we have so many different ethnics out here uh, some some religions, some people think if you look at them straightforward in the eyes, which I always do, I give that respect. I like that respect. And it is respect. Uh, they think that you're putting them down or you're not giving them the difference that they believe they have. And I don't bow my head to anybody. I don't care who you are. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care where you come from. I will not bow my head to anybody but Jesus Christ. And, you know, in the holy churches. But other than that, oh, you know, we have a problem with women. I've had a problem, and I hate to just call out any particular, oh, any particular race or religion or anything like that but women being out here and men finding us 
<laughs> uh, inferior to say a lack of a better word because they do some of them will they feel very intimidated that we take a part in their male dominated jobs especially truck driving I mean I've done a lot of male dominated I was a single mother of three for 15 years uh, marriage in here marriage out there uh, that's but it's just straight up you will if you're a female you absolutely will come into male chauvinism get used to it it is what it is uh, you're gonna have to deal with it and you're gonna have to set them straight now I'm not saying there's I mean there are guys out here who admire the hell out of us who love that we're out here doing this and you know just go with it they'll get out they'll help they'll do anything you know to make your job easier you know and they don't expect anything there are guys like that out here you know there are women like that out here but you know sexism is real we're in a male dominated world and that's how it goes uh, so either you can do what I don't do and bow your heads and say oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes or you can hold your head up high stand up for who you are your values and your beliefs and do the best you can don't be afraid to ask for help but watch who you ask for help you know there are guys out here that will take advantage of a solo female driver I've never encountered where a woman would take advantage of that you know no matter what their uh, preferences are and you know we're just happy to see each other for the most part uh, for the first time in I don't know five years we had three women at the same truck uh, at the same shipping place of uh, receiving I was receiving over in Tracy California so but oh my gosh it was phenomenal I mean and we just all got together at the front of our trucks and we chilled we're supposed to all wear masks but <laughs> yeah uh, truck drivers are loners for the most part I mean we mind our we do our thing most of our times are in our trucks uh, we have our comfort. This is our home away from home. And we make it comfortable for us. Whether it's TVs, radios, air conditions, uh, fans. Uh, I mean, I made my own window screen. See? That way I can roll down my windows. They do make them. Uh, but it only rolls down about halfway. And I want to get the full effect. My uh, company encourages us strongly not to, uh, you know, not to idle if we can. And, you know, with these windows, uh, my little window screens, I don't have to. And it's quite comfortable, like I said. I mean, y'all can look at me. <laughs> uh, I'm in a... You know, I'm in a tank top. Uh, I'm used to really cold weather in the winter, so people are walking out here and they have. Uh, I know I'm um, I'm um, um, um. I used to stutter, and it still take. I have to think, and I'm dyslexic, so I have to think about what I'm gonna say before I say it. And unfortunately, it gets in the way sometimes. But just bear with me, people. I'm not perfect. I don't pretend to be. Please leave comments, subscribe, and tell me what you think. Thank you so much. And y'all have a very blessed day and, you know, just keep on trucking and truck with Lady Bell. It's my life. <laughs>